went too early. Yo, welcome back to the channel, boys and girls. It looks like the Apple and MacBook gods have finally fixed the glitch on my recording stream based on my last video. Anyway, today I'm showing you guys just some quick highlights from stage three of the tour to Zwift, which is the serious mountain routes. I don't want to overload this channel with Swift videos, so I'll try to keep these type of videos short and to the point. So Tour de Zwift is a multi-stage group ride. There's eight stages in total with a focus on exploring Zwift's must-see destinations. If you complete all eight stages, you will be awarded with new socks, a new cap, and a 2021 Tour de Zwift kit, which is pretty cool. And while these group rides obviously aren't races, Although it seems like people always insist on sprinting at the beginning of the group ride, you can still see your final rankings if you are registered within Zwift Power. So about this particular course, this is the Group A uh, group ride, which is the longer ride, and it's open to all fitness levels. It's the Lorraine route within the France world. As far as I know, this route isn't listed in the France's map route picker, meaning that Lorraine is still only available as an event only route. The length of the course is 22.8 kilometers or 14.2 miles. Elevation is 1,181 meters or about 38, 3,900 feet. Uh, there's no lead in, but the first eight kilometers are flat and then it's 14 kilometers of just straight climbing. Overall, uh, Zwift Insider says that the average grade is 4.9%, although there are some pinches at 13% grades. There are uh, other group rides that you can participate in within the Tour de Zwift. Um, so, for example, there's the Group B ride, which is the standard group ride, and that takes you within Watopia's Road to Sky route that also includes Alpe de Zwift. And a quick side note, if you've been following me on Strava, you'll know that just a few days ago, I actually completed the Alp de Zwift for the first time, and I wasn't even going full gas. I was probably at about 70% effort, and I was able to complete the segment in an hour and six minutes. So I definitely know for sure that I can pull off that segment uh, within a sub hour. It should be totally easy to pull off. I'm not going to lie, you know, I actually really like these these group rides. Um, since it's not a competition, there's a lot of banter. People are really friendly. People like to tell a lot of jokes with, within these group rides and stuff. So there's a lot of communication. You end up meeting a lot of people. And so it's a lot of fun. If you haven't done a group ride within uh, Zwift, I encourage you to do it. And again, it's not a competition. So you get to kind of hang out, find the group that sort of fits your fitness and make your way uh, throughout the course. So towards the end of the route, I decided I was going to try to do a sprint. I don't really know why. I mean, it's not a competition, but I figured let me give my legs a little bit, a little bit of kick and try to go for a sprint. And as you can see, I completely mistimed the end of the course. So I end up sprinting way too early. So, yeah, as you guys know, in my previous videos, sprinting uh, is something I definitely need to work at as far as um, field sprints go. But it'll be a learning process and I'm always open to any suggestion you guys have. As always, guys, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, please feel free to leave them down below. And I'll check you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.